that, 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 that don't kill me can only make me stronger. I need you to Hello, everybody, and welcome to North American Elite Wrestling. This is the special holiday show, and Mason Chronic is in the ring. You hear that? Mason Chronic calling the suspect a joke. They are scheduled to take on each other in the main event non title tonight. The very last match of the NAEW 2019 year, your host Danny Jack put alone in commentary tonight. And what a 2019 it was for NAEW. It's only been a few months, but yeah, it's been one hell of a few months, everybody. And we're at the end of a ride. The suspect in the ring confronting Mason Chronic. He, you heard that, calling him a joke again. Right, the suspect's face. Did you see that? The suspect and Mason Chronic have now officially made their match an I Quit match for the NAEW Championship tonight. The loser's gonna leave the company. As we are about to crown the very first ever Canadian Tag Team Champions here in North American Elite Wrestling. Project Ego, Nick Black, Johnny Farmer are gonna take on the bloodline Biff Andreas Zack Star, as voted by the fans on Twitter, the NAW fans have put these two teams in this match for this opportunity. The winner of these match, the winning team of this match, will obviously probably defend the championship at the Sixth Sense pay-per-view. But the, win, the winning team right here will be the first ever NAW Canadian Tag Team Champions. As there's Biff Andreas and Zack Star making their way down to the ring. The bloodline Biff Andreas and Zack Star were unsuccessful defeating Smokey and Andrew Hunter in their last pairing of the tag team. Nick Black and Johnny Farmer has tag teamed and other promotions has yet to show themselves in a tag team match here and call their challenge by Comic Con for the pay-per-view. Well, here we are right before the pay-per-view, it's right before the end of 2019. And they're getting a chance to fight for the Canadian Tag Team Championship, the North American Elite Wrestling Canadian Tag Titles. I had to be cheering on Biff Andreas and Zack Star, though, as a member of the Bloodline. Zack Star, my cousin, Biff Andreas, good friend. I like to see these two men become the first ever Canadian Tag Team Champions. But hashtag Project Ego is going to be a team. As you see right now, the referee is holding up the very prestigious, the new, the Canadian Tag Team Championship here in North American Elite Wrestling. You got hashtag Project Ego. You got Bloodline. The bell has rung. We also got, what, a 40-man battle royal with the winner receiving a gift at six cents. Whatever that gift can be, I, it could be anything. I'm not sure. You, you've heard the main event now. Mason Chronic and the suspect. Loser leaves I quit match. NAEW championship has now officially been put on the line. We also got Smokey and Marcus Carter. Speaking of Twitter, the Twitter fans voted this match. Well, Smokey Lamar Lamarcus Carter got into a little beef on Twitter. And here you are now in an AEW ring, all because of Twitter.com. Twitter.com slash an AEW Dan Jackpot if you're going to go follow anybody. We also got the Brutality Championship on the line tonight. Isaacoff, who lost the title to Butch Simpson in a triple threat tables match involving Johnny D at Collaboration Episode 2 on the Callverse Channel's YouTube page. We'll get, we'll get a rematch in a parking lot brawl match. Isaac Hoff had requested and Butch has taken the challenge. All that and three titles on the line now. As you see the Canadian Championship on the line right now. Biff Andreas, Nick Black were the two legal men, but Nick Black makes a tag to Johnny Farmer. One of these two men will be the new Canadian Tag Team Champions. You see Johnny Farmer circling Biff Andreas. Biff though must have forced sense that. But Johnny Farmer, though, now has his hands on Biff. Headlock, now kicking Biff in the face. Johnny Farmer, Biff Andreas, both men I know have said they're scheduled to be in the Royal and in, in the 40-man in countdown rumble later tonight. New Year's countdown rumble, the New Year's countdown show, the New Year's showdown show, everybody. Nice to be here. I hope your 2019 is going great. Stay safe. Oh, and then Project Ego holding Biff and then going to the eyes there. Project Eagle will do what it takes. Hashtag Project Eagle will do what it takes to win a match. Defender has a big drop kick. He's in the corner. He does not want to be there, though. 
Zach Starr and myself are former tag team champions. Zach Starr and AJ Styles that formed a great tag team in WEDF. Pippen Andreas tagged Zach. Big snap mirror, and then I kicked to the face. The bloodline showing great tag teamwork. Zach Starr missing a drop kick. Hashtag Pride Eagle, the rookies, the bloodline, the veterans. Great match here to start off the Canadian tag team titles history and the very first episode, very first match of this edition of Showdown. Bloodline working good as a tag team. Once again now Zack Star tagging in Biff. Biff going for a snap here and then Zack Nail Gunnell just a giant kick to the back. Zack Star and Biff and Jess working great as a tag team here. Very first match in AEW. Canadian tag team titles on the line. Biff just wailing at Johnny Farmer. Biff now looking for a tag. Johnny Farmer gets cut off. Johnny Farmer's on the ring that he wants, side of the ring that he wants to be. Tag to Zack Starr. Biff gets, Johnny Farmer gets out of the corner. Johnny Farmer tags in Nick Black. Zack Starr chases Johnny Farmer down though. Knocks Johnny Farmer down. Nick Black is a legal man though. I think Zack Starr seen, seen, seen the tag. He just didn't, didn't carry one to get that move in. But unfortunately now Nick Black has gotten Zack Starr down. I can't say unfortunately I'm supposed to be biased. Nick Black, Zack Starr. What an opportunity for Zack Starr to be in the ring with a WDF legend like, like Zack Starr, or, or an opportunity for Nick Black to be in the ring with a WDF legend like Zack Starr. We actually seen him with another W. Oh, a double team maneuver by Hat Tag Project Eagle, like a mule stomp wall uh, by Johnny Farwell. Uh, Nick Black having a headlock. That was an interesting move by Hashtag Project Eagle. Both men working, both teams working great in this tag team match. First match of showdown. But I was trying to say Nick Black had defeated Evan O'Shea, another WEF superstar in his debut match in AEW. And his second match looking to become the Canadian tag team champion. Nick Black looking to make an impact here quickly. Johnny Farmer had won the brutality title in his very first match in AEW. Already looking for his second championship here in North American Elite Wrestling. Another tag team move. Looking by a tag Project Eagle. Oh my God! Springboard drop kick into a frontwards STO like a downwards spiral by Johnny Farmer. Knocking the Biff Andreas off the apron. Hashtag Project Eagle. I don't know why they're going after Biff right here because Zack Star's a legal man. They're down the mat. This match is almost just breaking onto a brawl actually between these two teams. Zack Star, Nick Black, the two legal men. Zack Star nailing. A Hurricane Rana on Nick Black. He tags in Biff and Dreas. Nick Black, Biff and Dreas. Two legal men in this match. Biff and Dreas nails a neck breaker. Biff and Dreas now just stomping at the Nick at, at the space of Nick Black. The head. Biff now with two only. That could have been a new Canadian Tag Team Champion. You're in all you backbreaker by Biff. One, two. Only getting two with a you're in all you backbreaker by Biff and Dreas. Biff Andreas still now in the wrong corner here. Hashtag Project Ego now has him in his corner. Johnny Farmer had to come in and break that fall, that pinfall and then was able to get Biff into his corner. Hashtag Project Ego now able to get Johnny Farmer in the ring. Two legal men now, Johnny Farmer and Biff Andreas. Johnny Farmer with a big back suplex. Who's gonna be in the 40-man rumble tonight? I I've seen faces that you, we we've seen before in rumbles that you we don't normally see in AEW. I've seen a new face. I've seen things that you th I've seen just things back there, guys. Zack Star nails the star power. Zack Star nails the star power on Brandon Farmer. Biff Andreas is in the ring to fight off Nick Black. One, two, three. No, Johnny Farmer kicks out at two. Star power by Star. And Johnny Farmer kicks out. What a tag team match. Farmer now. Nick Black and Farmer double team. He's starting. Nick Black has to get out of the ring. Not one nice suplex by Johnny Farmer with the bridge. One. Zack Star kicks out at one. Surprise this match isn't over. That, that star power by Zack Star. Did a big back. That should have been it for that back suplex by Johnny Farmer. Looking for a camel clutch. Zack Star is very close to the ropes. But Nick Black was able to walk right in front of him. So how close to the ropes can he be? That, that camel clutch, Biff can't break it up, but Zack Star able to get to the ropes. Zack Star with a crucifix. Trying to pin Johnny Farmer here. One, two. Nick Black breaks it up at two. 
What a tag team spectacle these two tag teams are showing here. Trying to win the Canadian tag team titles. Don't forget the Canadian tag team titles will be represented in Canada most times. Other than during pay-per-views, when they go to the Canadian brand, but Zack Star had a two count only on a cover. I should have been paying attention. Zack Star could have been the new Canadian tag team champion along with Biff Andreas. Johnny Farmer now has him in the right corner though. Looking for like this tarantula-like maneuver. Johnny Farmer only has five to break it up. Johnny Farmer jumping back over the top rope. Johnny Farmer now has Biff. And has Zach, sorry, has Zach. Zach and Biff the Bloodline wearing black and yellow, wearing matching outfits. The hashtag Pride Ego, the tag team double ag handle on Zach Star. Star and Nick Black had now run into each other, trying to cut off the tag for Biff Andreas. Zach Star knocks down Farmer, Black knocks down Biff. And this match again is a brawl. Once again, though, during a brawl, Zack Starr, Nick Black, two legal men in this match. Nick Black looking for this. Big move, the brain buster, Zack Starr. I think he's been busted open with that move lying straight on his skull. This has got to be it for the bloodline. One, two, Bit breaks it up in two. Excellent action here. The Canadians got to be proud. Zack Star up in the air. Zack Star versus him. Zack Star's got to roll up. Zack Star, one, two, Johnny Farmer breaks it up. Are you kidding me? What a tag team match for these Canadian tag team titles. Nick Black kicked. Nick Black kicked into a tag to Johnny Farmer, though. Johnny Farmer misses the punch. Star ducks the punch. Zack Star now has Farmer in a headlock. And, the, the, and these two run into each other as the match is high-paced. Zack Starr now has Johnny Farmer in the Bloodlines corner. Makes a tag to Biff. Biff Andreas with a snap mirror. Another good kick to Johnny Farmer. The fans are really into this match. Biff Andreas with a big kick to Johnny Farmer. Biff Andreas, way with the future. One, two. Three, Biff Andreas has won the match! Biff Andreas and Zack Star are the tag team champions! Look at the replay from this match! I can't believe it! Or I cannot believe what happened to Star Power on Johnny Farmer! Wasn't it not to hold Johnny Farmer down? The brain buster by Nick Black! Busting open Zack Star! If Biff wasn't there to break it up, the match would have surely been over and it has signs of hashtag Project Eagle! Biff Andreas though, after this double team maneuver was able to nail us, giant knee and away with the future. As you see, as you see, Nick Black was that close to breaking up the cover. The match, the winners, the new, the very first, the Canadian Tag Team Champions here in North American League. Zack Star, Biff Andreas, the bloodline, and what a way to end the year, guys. What a way to end your year, the bloodline Canadian Tag Team Champions. Zack Star, you can see the blood. That's rightfully earned, Zack. Biff and Zack, the veterans have beat the rookies here tonight. The hashtag Pirate Eagle look good. Zack Star, Biff and is holding up, rightfully, the Canadian Tag Team Champions. As we see the Brutality title parking lot brawl match, these two men are going to start off the match now. It looks like Isaac Hoff and Butch Simpson are already ready to stop this match in the back. The Brutality Championship is on the line. Parking lot brawl, and oh my god, just driving, just driving his head into the car, Butch Simpson driving eyes across head, and then nailing him with the hood of the ring. Come on, cameraman, you missed that right there. The parking lot brawl, obviously we are not ready for this, these two men, were, they want they wanted to start the action as soon as that, they must have heard that bell ring between the, the tag team title match, they ended, these two wanted to get their match started. The brutality title on the line, Butch Simpson had won the title from... From Isaac Kopp and Johnny Dean at Choke on Tails match on Converse Collaboration Episode 2. If you had missed that, I suggest go watch it. Isaac Kopp looking to win back his Brutality Championship. Parking lot brawl match. Isaac Kopp had put up the challenge. Isaac Kopp opening the hood. Oh my god! Just catching Butch Simpson between the engine and the hood. The parking lot brawl. Huh? These, kind of brawl these kind of brawls don't last long, I can tell you that. Driving. Just Driving him and just driving Butch, just face first, gut first into the cement, the parking lot. Come on, guys. 
Clothesline by Butch Simpson. Wow, these two men, after that Canadian tag title, these two men just immediately started this match. I have yet to just get a, get a sit down for a break for a second for the break of the action. I love it here at North American Elite Wrestling. And both these men now have just tossed each other on this cement, this cold cement here in the parking lot. But Simpson now is a backbreaker on. I, I think it would have been more if he just slammed him down into the cement. But Simpson, two big, two big knees to one the back of Isaac Hoff and then a Manhattan drop. You know where the knee lands up there. I'm not going to explain. Isaac Hoff, giant knee to the face though to Butch Simpson. Isaac Hoff now throwing Butch Simpson. Isaac Hoff throws Butch Simpson is down to the cement. And Isaac Hoff has more protection than Butch does. Butch is wearing, rest Butch is wearing wrestling gear. But why is he got Oh my God! The referees called it! The referees called it! Isaac Hoff has won by knockout! Butch can't continue! Isaac Hoff has won the Brutality Championship once again! Congratulations, Isaac Hoff. Congratulations, Bloodline. We gotta move on here. Smokey and LaMarcus Carter, one on one. Are you kidding me? This is what we got next. This is amazing. And this match is, this match in main event any arena and any place around the world. If this was in Tokyo right now, Dave Meltzer would give this match an extra five stars. I guarantee it. Smokey making his way down the ring. No longer with the low rider, Smokey. Smokey, the call legend. Can I be? Smokey, I put the challenge out to LaMarcus Carter on Twitter. NAEW had heard about it, had talked to LaMarcus Carter, and he has accepted. Smokey, one-on-one, -on -one, looking to put down LaMarcus Carter. LaMarcus Carter has just won a championship in GFGN. I believe he's the global champion in GFGN now. And Smokey, and he's claimed to be the best in the world, and Smokey says, best in the world? Heck, you're not even the best in North American elite. Well, Smokey in the ring, the fans are definitely behind Smokey. As he's gonna be waiting on Marcus Carter, Smokey really eating up the fans today. And just look at how Smokey looks nowadays. The muscle that Smokey has put on since the very first time this man showed up, what, 10, 11 years ago in call? This man is a veteran, this man's a legend. But a man who is staying at six foot seven, while Marcus Carter, one half of Cash Corporation, is making his way down in the ring. Like I said, LaMarcus Carter, and you see Connor James is accompanying LaMarcus Carter for this match. The Maple Leaf champion, Connor James, won the Maple Leaf title from Al Cabrera in a two out of three falls match, two to one in the very last cha showdown show. LaMarcus Carter and Smokey could main event any arena around the world. And tonight, these two men go one on one for the very last time in 2019. I can't tell you the history between Smokey and LaMarcus Carter if these two have faced off before. I believe they probably have with the long history between both men and both careers. But if these two men have never faced off, this I can tell you right now is the first time one-on-one -on -one, Smokey and LaMarcus Carter will have a match here in North American Elite Wrestling. Smokey and LaMarcus Carter preparing for this match. Bell is rung. We are underway and LaMarcus Carter catching a kick, but Smokey able to reverse it right away into a mule kick. The six foot seven, LaMarcus Carter weighing in at 290 pounds. Smokey weighing in at 280 pounds, standing at six foot five. Yeah. LaMarcus Carter able to take him down there. LaMarcus Carter with those long legs, long arms. LaMarcus Carter likes to use the steamroller here in North American League Wrestling. He also likes to use the money maker. We've seen We've seen Smokey use the frog splash. We've seen Smokey, we've seen him use like a rock bottom like variation of Uranagi. Smokey the big kick to LaMarcus Carter. 40 man battle royal. The winner getting a gift at six cents. I wonder what that could be. And Smokey able to catch LaMarcus Carter with a sling blade. Marcus Carter able to knock down Smokey again, able to use that that long leg of leg advantage of Smokey. He puts himself in like a fireman's like fireman's carry position on Smokey's shoulders and then takes him down. It's, I've seen him use that move before. It's interesting. But Marcus Carter has Smokey in a vulnerable position against the ropes. 
Just, 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 just hit him against the ropes and then just driving his knee down when Smokey re came re rebounding off the ropes. Smokey though getting to get up in the nail and Lamarcus Carter with a big elbow. Connor James not happy with that one. Smokey able to knock down Lamarcus Carter with a big back suplex. Carter feeling that one. Lamarcus Carter nails a back elbow to the elbow to the back of Smokey's head. Lamarcus Carter then nails a giant STO, knocking down Smokey, then nailing a leg drop. And then goddamn a hip toss. Connor James happy to see that hip toss. Lamarcus Carter nails a huge hip toss on Smokey. Wants to get put himself in that fireman's carry position and wants to get knocking down Smokey. He's got to be careful. If Smokey once again picks up on that. He's going to be driving Carter down, maybe with a Death Valley driver, maybe with like a variation of the FU like maneuver. You got to be careful with Smokey. Smokey's a veteran. Smokey with a soaring, roaring elbow right there. That discus elbow by Smokey knocking down Lamarcus Carter. Smokey's feeling confident, I feel like. Smokey looking for what? Whoa, Smokey with a big neck breaker with Carter sitting on a sit out position. Looking for a cover, but only getting two. Connor James on the earring apron. Smokey now, I told you, looking for that big urinagi like move by that Smoke. We'll call that the, the, the urinagi smoke maneuver. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But Smoke with two. Smoke only getting on two there. Then the Marcus Carroll Hill and nail him down with a drop kick. Smoke is going to nail that big urinagi like maneuver. And then Smoke, oh, going to nail with a steamroller. I did Smokey. The Marcus Carroll nailing the steamroller. And Smokey gets up from the steamroller. Smokey gets up from the steamroller. Knock it down, Carter. What a match these two men are having. Carter was able to reverse, but Carter gets caught with a knee. Al Cabrera, wait a second, has jumped over by my shoulder. Al Cabrera is taking out Carter James. Al Cabrera has took down Carter James. Dead dead on Carter James on the outside of the ring. Al Cabrera has just jumped the ring apron. Al Cabrera has jumped right back over the ring apron. I don't think Carter's even realized that Carter James has been taken out. Wait, the referee now has been taken out in this match. Oceani's at, Oceani had Smokey a chair. What? Smokey nails Carter with a chair. Oceani is going to cost Carter this match. Oceani gets the referee back into focus. The referee, one, two, three. The referee rings the bell. Smokey has won this match. Oceani has cost him. Can you believe this? Smokey has defeated Carter with a little bit of help thanks to Oceani. Thanks to a little bit of help with Al Cabrera. Don't forget Al Cabrera, the former Maple Leaf champion, Oceani, LaMarcus Carter. And Connor James are all going to be in the TLC for the Maple Leaf title. Smokey defeats Carter here. The 40 man rumble is about to start. As you see the 40 men, if you want to catch who was in it, then you got a few seconds to see. Did your favorite, was your favorite superstar in it? You get to see who was in it in that picture. Either way, Bush Sips is coming out number one. 40 men about to come out and try to toss 39 men over the top rope. Bush Simpson coming out at number one. Butch Simpson and the next man that comes out is going to have the tedious task of being the first two men in this match, which we would put him in the hardest spot. The countdown rumble. You'll be counting down New Year's Fall at the end of the night, at the end of the, at the, at the, end of the night, guys. So tonight you'll have 39 opportunities, or 38 opportunities to count down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In this very countdown rumble match, the winner is going to get that six cents. 40 superstars here in North American Elite Wrestling. Maybe the last time you'll see some of these guys lock up. What legends will be here? What 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 I always know when NAEW does rumbles, they always just they don't just bring in the superstars. They always bring in appearances, they always bring in guests, they always got shockers, they always got appear they always got something in the back. Something that and Andrew Leanna coming out number two. The nomad Andrew Leanna. Him and Steven Raiden has had recently Reformed not in just NAEW but in New North America, New NAEW, New New Age Wrestling, New NAEW. Yes, they have. They have reformed in both both leagues. A force to be reckoned with. Tonight they go at tonight. Angeliana goes at it alone in singles competition. Forty men. Angeliana, the Nomad, the former MMA fighter turned biker turned street fighter. Angeliana. And what a veteran, what 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 a career this guy's had. Working on his 10th career now, 10th year now in CAW. This is this is honestly he had his 
10 year anniversary on December 1st, 2000, 2019. Looking into his what? 10th year and one first and one month here career of Andrew Liana. Bush Simpson has also had a decorated career of the last eight or nine years. Both these men, 20 years of call experience between the two. And it's crazy for me to sit here and say that. Two, for, two very first men in this match. Now, if these two men were smart, this is a 40-man rumble, I decided to team up, say, hey, guys, everyone that comes out in the next 38 picks, we double-team them from over the top rope, and maybe, hopefully, we win the match. That's what I would do about the first two of this match. But he, I don't think Andrew Liana and Butcher Simpson get along well enough for that. As we see Sebastian Murphy making his way down the ring. Number three in this match. Andrew Liana got Butch Simpson in trouble. Butch Simpson is in trouble. Andrew Liana and Sebastian Murphy both, both working him over in this Rumble-like match. Countdown Rumble. Butch Simpson able to fight off both Liana and Murphy. And just like that, Murphy and Liana turn on each other. Murphy turns on Liana first. Can't trust either man in this match. Now Andrew Liana in trouble. Butch Simpson and Sebastian Murphy able to work him over. Sebastian Murphy, I heard, a member of that Mean Street Mafia, along with Hugo and along with Isaacoff. I haven't really seen them really compete in action lately. Sebastian Murphy or Hugo. And here comes number four, Tyler King. We see Tyler King in the Turkey Bowl. Tyler King, a CAW legend, a former new NAW champion, a former new NAW Intercontinental champion, is Tyler King, a former WDF India NXT Tag Team Champion, is Tyler King. Nice to always see Tyler King back in a CAW ring. Sebastian Murphy and Andrew Leanne with a double suplex on Butch Simpson. And this match very looking very looking very NAWE right now, I'll tell you that. Got four men in this match. As the countdown clock is at five. Looking down for the next looking for the next superstar in this match. Butch is in trouble. Tyler King has him against the ropes. And Butch able to hold on as Johnny Farmer able to as far Johnny Farmer making his way down the ring. Johnny Farmer number five in this 40 man rumble. I still can't believe later tonight, the NAEW Championship I quit match between Mason Chronic and the suspect. The winner is the NAEW champion. The loser does just quit the company. When he says I quit, or when he says I quit, he doesn't just either lose the match, he loses his job here in North American Elite Wrestling. Bush Simpson tossed out. Bush Simpson, the very first man not winning this match. And Sebastian Murphy able to eliminate Tyler King. And somewhere Sebastian Murphy is looking back at that entire new NW career and really happy with what just happened. Sebastian Murphy able to toss out Tyler King. And Alex Stryker making his way down to the ring. A little league called ARW, a little league called NAW. Alex Stryker has competed in. Alex Stryker hasn't been around much, making a making a freelancer appearance right now. Free agent Alex Stryker. Two men already tossed out as we see Butch Simpson and Tyler King no longer in this match. Johnny Farmer will fight off Alex Shaker and hold on. And the winner of this match getting a special special gift at six cents. I wonder what that could be. Last time we seen the executive, he was actually in the turkey bowl. As Lester Barkley making his way down the ring. If a man has, if a man who has winning Rumble experience, it's Lester Barkley. He had won the Crashing Burn Rumble 10 in CXWI, the current CXWI World Heavyweight Champion and the current CXWI Tag Team Champion, winning the world title with that Rumble win. Lester Barkley comes in at seven tonight. Has to face Extreme Tony. Johnny Farmer tossed out by Ext Andrew Leanna, Sebastian Murphy in trouble. Lester Barkley has to face Extreme Tony. Sebastian Murphy tossed out by Lester Barkley. And Lester Barkley already racking up eliminations. Lester Barkley and Extreme Tony going to go one on one. That match at six cents after Extreme Tony had gotten turned on by Lester Barkley at in the United States Championship, United States Tag Team Title Finals. And a new man making his way down the ring. 
His name is Colton Cruz, everybody. Colton Cruz has now signed with North American Elite Wrestling is. He made his debut here at the end of the 2019 year. Colton Cruz, Alex Stryker like locking, up, locking off in the ring. Colton Cruz fights off Alex Stryker. Lester Barkley eliminates Andrew Liana. That's the second elimination now for Lester Barkley. Lester Barkley and Colton Cruz. I don't know if you heard what I just said on the microphone earlier, Colton, but Lester Barkley has a history of turning on his opponents. They work over Alex Sp or his partners as they as they both double team. As they both double team Alex Stryker, Colton Cruz, and Lester Barkley knocks down Stryker. Stryker's still in this match though. Now over the top rope. Isaiah Ice down the legal man. Or Isaiah Ice coming out number nine in this match. Colton. Cruz has Lester Barkley in a, a compromising position, but no. Lester Barkley able to fight off Colton Cruz. I don't think Colton Cruz knows what he's in the ring with right now. Lester Barkley's a beast. Isaiah Ice looks to eliminate Alex Stryker. Colton Cruz, I told you, you didn't want to get in the ring with Lester Barkley. Alex Stryker eliminated. Colton Cruz eliminated. Both men eliminated simultaneously almost. I think Colton Cruz lost it maybe a millisecond lo lo longer than Alex Stryker, but it doesn't really matter. Both men lost this match. Colton Cruz making his AEW debut. We'll see Colton Cruz here in the future episodes of North American League Wrestling. Lester Barkley has now eliminated Isaiah Ice. Lester Barkley has tossed out four men in this match as the Monster Messiah is number 10. Lester Barkley and Monster Messiah are about to be square face to face. This should be interesting. The Monster, Lester Barkley, both men dominant. Monster Messiah is going to take on Alex Snow and now Isaacoff again at six cents in the triple threat match with the brutality title. Lester Barkley able to fight off Monster Messiah. Monster Messiah is trying to eliminate Lester Barkley. Both these men, new guys that the cost scene here in North, well not new guys in the cost scene, but North America, new guys to the North American League scene. And look at that, just clotheslining Lester Barkley. I'm clotheslining Monster Messiah and Lester Barkley out of here. I don't mean as in Lester Barkley is new to NAEW, as I mean more as in the, like these Danny Jack Pro Productions. And both these men have been dominant. Aussie Andy coming out at number 11. Lester Barkley standing alone. Lester Barkley racking up, what, six eliminations now, I think? Lester Barkley just tossing down everybody. Lester Barkley in trouble, Aussie Andy. Lester Barkley able to fight his way back into the ring. Lester Barkley came out at number seven. Like I said, I think he has six eliminations now. Aussie Andy trying to throw Lester Barkley over the top rope. Aussie Andy was able to cost Le Le uh, Lamarcus Carter his match earlier. Aussie Andy got to be happy against some revenge on that. Almost the exact same way Connor James and Lamarcus Carter did him in when he faced Lamarcus Carter. Back at four score. Lester Barkley was not able to take out Lester. Was not able to, or Lester Barkley was there, hold on. Amir, Aussie Andy was not able to take him out. Amir Barnes coming out number 12. Amir Barnes, maybe, last time we seen him was the Turkey Bowl. Amir Barnes dominant. Him and Lester Barkley in the, in the ring. Look at him. Amir Barnes wanting to go after Lester Barkley. A challenge for Amir Barnes is Lester Barkley. And look at Aussie Andy and Amir Barnes now working over Lester Barkley. Lester Barkley stands in at six foot eight. And Lester Barkley, it doesn't matter because Lester Barkley is eliminated. Lester Barkley had looked good in this match, but coming in at number seven, it's hard to win this match. Lester Barkley with six eliminations. Aussie Andy has Amir Barnes in trouble. Amir Barnes able to put a, 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 a just giant forearm and Andy able to hold on. We got 40 men in this match. Number 13 right now is a little guy who is not little at all. His name is Hector Frost. Standing in at six foot, how, or seven foot, however tall this man, however tall this man is, seven foot four, seven foot five. The, Amir Barnes tosses out Aussie Andy. Nothing to be ashamed of Aussie Andy. Amir Barnes is a beast. Hector Frost slowly making his way down the ring. Amir Barnes looking into steering he Hector Frost down the staring him down. And look at Hector Frost just take the Amir Barnes just take the fight to Hector Frost. Amir Barnes does not care if Hector Frost stands at seven foot, however tall he is. Amir Barnes, the beast, has him up for the Pharaoh's edge. Amir Barnes takes down Hector Frost with the Pharaoh's edge. 
but he should have tossed him over the top rope. I don't think he could have done that, but it's impressive what Amir Barnes just did to Hector Frost. Amir Barnes now has Hector Frost in trouble. Picked him up, has him against the ropes. Countdown clock again. Hector Frost eliminated. I didn't think Hector Frost had much. He pretty much just got headbutted, furrowed edge, and eliminated. Hector Frost is weird did not last long here in North American Elite Wrestling Turkey Ball. Hector Frost, back to the free agency you go. As ITF superstar Puck makes his way down the ring. Puck, a former superstar here in North American Elite, says he has one last ride with the Dark Carnival here tonight. Puck gonna be moving over to the ITF. Also alongside Kid Jack. Those two superstars have asked and they've been granted a move to ITF. They want to go back to developmental. They said they feel like they can shine in an ITF and help help culture the young talent. Puck, a former ITF tag team champion. Kid Jack, a former ITF world heavyweight champion. I think that would be great for the two superstars. A great move for the two. Puck looking to eliminate Mir Barnes. Mike Valander coming out at number, number 15. <coughs> and Puck, like I said, eliminates Amir Barnes. And Puck, he's not even just telling Amir Barnes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, because Amir Barnes did tear him apart. Puck eliminates Amir. Puck, I told you the great talent. Puck is going to do great things in ITF. Mike Valander at number 15. Puck has caught Mike Valander at Teleworld Backbreaker right away. Has Mike Valander on his shoulders and he tosses out Mike Valander. Puck. Puck the foreign mime. Also calls himself a jester. The Puck. Who's going to come out next? Countdown clock over. It's his best friend, the tag team bonkers. Tag team partner, Bonkers. Bonkers is coming out at number 16. Bonkers. I, I can't believe I'm about to say it, but with Puck being his last appearance here in North American Elite, I'm excited to see Puckers versus Bonk. Bonk versus Puckers happening here. Oh my God. Bonk, come on. Puck versus Bonkers. And I have to remind everybody at home, like I always do, Bonkers is Bonkers. Bonkers is the neck breaker. Bonkers coming out at number 16. 24 men left in this match. Puck and Bonkers of the Dark Carnival. I believe the only two Dark Carnival members in this match tonight, actually. And Bonkers looks to have Puck in trouble, but no, Puck was able to get fight his way back in the ring. Nick Black making his way down the ring now. Nick Black unsuccessful winning the Canadian tag team titles earlier. Bonkers has Puck in a compromising position and eliminates Puck. And Bonkers gets one over on Puck, and the crazy man laughs about it. That's your best friend. Laughing about eliminating Puck in his last ever appearance here in North American Elite. Puck, it was nice knowing you, bud. We'll see you down in ITF. Nick Black has, bon has Bonkers in a compromising position now. Nick Black eliminates Bonkers. Bonkers doesn't last too much longer than his best friend Puck. Bonkers can't believe what just happened. Nick Black <laughs> show showing that he has brain over Bonkers. Well, I definitely hope so, Nick Black. At number 18, we have... Call Legend Lariat coming down on the ring. Better than Legend Lariat. Lariat, a former NAW champion. Of the original NAW brand. Lariat's first appearance in the very in the second ever SMF cost search. He didn't show up on their appearance, but he was one of the participants who had first entered was Lariat. They had soon found a home in New Age Wrestling, and he eliminates Nick Black. Lariat, the call legend, here tonight. Glad to have Lariat here. Nick Black can't believe what just happened is Lariat, a man who specializes in what move, everybody? The Lariat, yes. Lariat has spent his time, just, just his years, just make, making sure that he is the best at that move. Al Cabrera coming out at number 19. As we are almost halfway through this, Al Cabrera, the former Maple Leaf champion, Al Cabrera had lost his title to Connor James on the Christmas showdown. Almost a sad, sad, sad ending for Connor James to the Christmas showdown. He had then taken, but don't forget tonight, earlier tonight, he had taken to Connor James 
Giving a detonator to the outside of the ring during that Smokey versus Marcus Carter, Connor, Marcus Carter match. Akabura and Larry are the two men in this match right now. These two men are familiar with each other. They both were on the new NAW, new New Age Wrestling. West Brand, when, that, when, the, when the draft split had happened. Lariat against the ropes now. Alcabrera has him in trouble. Number 20 making his way down the ring is Nick Gemini. Nick Gemini, we've seen his girlfriend Denise Parkinson also compete here in NAEW. Nick Gemini. Him and John Donnessy are currently scheduled to take on Comic Con at six cents. I mean, O'Shea lay out the challenge of Hashtag Project Ego. I, I, I meant to say, Nick, as, as Al Cabrera eliminated by Lariat with the Lariat, I meant to say that Comic Con, Nick Gemini, and Sean Dynasty are going to take on Hashtag Project Ego, Johnny Farmer, and Nick Black. As Nick Black was, as Nick Gemini was number 20, halfway through this match, Nick Gemini. Looking to eliminate Lariat, but Lariat looking to skin the cat. Did Lariat's feet touch the referee? He says no. Amarillo coming out at number 21. Nick Gemini has Lariat in trouble. Amarillo and Nick Gemini now looking to eliminate Lariat. The call better than the call legend. Lariat in trouble. And they do so. Amarillo and Nick Gemini able to eliminate Lariat. Amarillo won half the El Naval Conquistadores. Former Western Tag Team Champions on the new NAW West brand back a few years ago. A little tag team called Zack Star and Danny Jackpot might have beat them for the tag titles on an episode of, uh, on, on, on a page, maybe episode 22, I believe. <laughs> All Naval Conquistadores. As Sean Dynasty, Nick Gemini's tag team partner in Comic Con, coming out. And Comic Con looks to, looks to be tag teaming Amarillo. And no, Sean Dynasty and Nick Gemini, the two good friends fighting. Sean Dynasty does a lot of work for Nick Gemini. And Nick, Nick runs his own promotion called NCWL. Sean Dynasty does a lot of work for Nick behind the scenes there. These two men are good friends. I guess every man wanted to win that special prize at six cents. For winning this battle royal, every man for himself tonight. As the Crusades, TJ Nicholson comes out at number 23. And TJ starting this match with a bang, just immediately taking it to Nick Gemini, not knocking him down with a bulldog. Amarillo has John Dynasty in trouble. DJ Nicholson, reverse step alley driver two. Sean Dynasty. I mean, to, to Nick Gemini, Sean Dynasty eliminated Amarillo, able to eliminate Sean Dynasty. El Naval Conquistador, remember Amarillo, knocks off Sean Dynasty here. And, well, you got your good friend, Nick Gemini with you. This is Comic Con member Nick Gemini, also tossed out by TJ Nicholson. TJ Nicholson now. Looking to get rid of Amarillo, big kick. Amarillo lands to the ground, Amarillo's tossed out. As the Maple Leaf champion, Connor James comes out at number 24. And last time Connor James was in a, it was in a rumble, and God damn, I hit the toss on Connor James. Connor James already took a detonator earlier tonight, thanks to Al Cabrera on the outside of the ring. Connor James now recovering. The Maple Leaf champion, Connor James, at number 24 in this match. TJ Nicholson hasn't been trouble, but Connor James able to fight back. Connor James now looking to eliminate TJ Nicholson. Both these men, tag both these men champions here in North American League Wrestling. TJ Nicholson, one half of the United States Tag Team Champions. We got Connor James, the NAEW Canadian Maple Leaf Champion. And as we see another champion about to make his way down the ring. At number 25, Nate Farron, the All-American Champion, won his championship just yesterday. The All-American Champion, Nate Farron, looking to help TJ Nicholson eliminate Connor James. And the Maple Leaf Champion has been tossed out. Connor James eliminated. Connor James nailed the detonator earlier. 
that might have had something to do with his current game. She has just great in these battle royal like appearances. TJ Nicholson now has. TJ Nicholson has won it. Has, thanks to Nate Farron, has eliminated the Maple Leaf champion. Nate Farron also eliminated the Maple Leaf champion, though. What, could the, another, would one of these men now eliminate another champion if one of these two men tossed the other men out? Yeah, second champion eliminated for the other two. For one of the two. TJ Nicholson has Nate Farron in trouble. And here comes another champion! Biff Andre is at number 26! Just won his Canadian tag team title earlier! And they Farron able to hold on! Biff Andre goes after the, the Canadian tag team champion! We have now the All-American champion! The, and the United States tag team champion going after each other! The Canadian tag team champion in there too! And what a rumble it's been so far. Nate Farron throws Biff over the top rope. Biff able to hold on. TJ going after the, the taller six foot nine. Nate Farron. Biff Andreas going after Nate Farron still. Evan O'Shea coming out at number 27. And don't forget the matches that Evan O'Shea and Biff Andreas had. As Biff Andreas tosses out the All-American Champion, Nate Farron. And Evan O'Shea and Biff Andreas going at it. Look at that. Biff Andreas able to swat a spring crossbody after hitting him with the clothesline. TJ and Biff now. Two tag team champions working together. Not champions with each other, but champions with somebody else. Champions in completely different countries. Biff and Jairus, though, we know that he's not a big fan of the Crusade. Evan O'Shea. Don't forget, when the Crusade was first started, it was against guys like Biff, against guys like Evan, who were in AEW Originals. At number 28, we see Extreme Tony making his way down the ring. Call legend, call veteran, the playmaker, Extreme Tony. TJ Nicholson, and there was some just legends. If you didn't know, me and Biff won Feud of the Decade over in OPW lately. As also guys like TJ Nicholson, Norm Daly, and myself try to win OPW Superstar of the Decade. TJ Nicholson knocking down Evan O'Shea, Biff Andreas, and Extreme Tony working over each other. Don't forget, Extreme Tony had won a World Heavyweight Championship from Biff Andreas and Nuna NW. The East Coast Championship. And look at Extreme Tony now has Biff Andreas in a compromising position. Extreme Tony looking to eliminate Biff as L Lightning comes out. And TJ Nicholson with a big boot. Evan O'Shea over the top rope. Evan O'Shea and Biff Andreas both eliminated over the top rope. The something called full 2012 match of the year. Both eliminated over the top rope at the same time. Al Lightning now. Taking it to Extreme Tony. Extreme Tony has saved Al Lightning from a beatdown from Lester Barkley. Surprised these two are not teaming up against TJ Nicholson. Not surprised the North American League Wrestling roster is not teaming up against TJ Nicholson. As Alex Snow, the man who is almost the All American champion, comes out at number 30. As this match is now, we've seen three fourths of the entrance in this match. Alex Snow, I gotta tell you a little something about Alex Snow. He helped Nate Farron win his match against Monster Messiah. And then he lost Nate Farron in the finals. The irony of that for the All-American title. Could you believe that? As Alex Snow in a compromising position against the ropes, was able to hold on, but be able to finally roll back in. Alex Snow. No, TJ Nicholson throws him down the ring. Extreme Tony now Lightning. These two men, both Latinos. As number 31, the Brick House Chris Snyder making his way down the ring. And Extreme Tony is at Al Lightning in an uncompromising position. Extreme Tony eliminates Al Lightning. And Extreme Tony 
Celebrating that one. TJ Nicholson wait, just waiting for Tony to turn around and nails him with a big uppercut. Alex Snow though taking down TJ Nicholson. Chris Steiner now getting the ring and that six foot two, that's he must have just crossed himself. That had to hurt. Chris Steiner. Chris Steiner though. He the man the size and the way well, this man's brick. That this man is built like a brick house. The the power of this man. This is how he drives his opponents down on the mat. I see big things coming out of Chris Snyder. And maybe that draft split will be one of the one of the good things. Chris Snyder might be one of those superstars who will capitalize on that. Chris Snyder and Extreme Tony now. Last time I seen Oh, and TJ Nicholson eliminates Alex Stone with a huge clothesline. Last time I seen uh, Chris Snyder in a bat in a room of these rumbles, he has to take the fight to Al Cabrera. Now it looks like maybe he wants to take the fight to a man like Extreme Tony. Yes, he does. Chris Snyder always looks for the biggest man in this match. The biggest man, he, the biggest name he can make a name for himself of. Don't forget, Chris Snyder got, after getting pinned by Andrew Hunter, almost eliminates Tony. After he got pinned by Andrew Hunter, he attacked the referee in the back. Got fined for that. Chris Snyder, though, will still get to compete, no suspension. Just fine, heavenly. And he said, if you want to find me, great. It just makes me more mad. He didn't say it as calmly as I did right there. Hugo, the man who won the Turkey Bowl, the man who has battle royal experience more than anybody I'd say in this in, in AEW. Chris Snyder, huge balls by Chris Snyder eliminates Extreme Tony. Chris Snyder has just eliminated Extreme Tony. Are you kidding me? Chris Snyder has eliminated Tony. Now we're really looking to eliminate Hugo. Chris Snyder is. Chris Snyder and Hugo, two of the biggest men here on the North American League roster, power and size wise. Both these men just built. Chris Steiner, I've always wondered. I thought it was true, but Steiner is bigger than Hugo. The two of these men now, just, just compared to compare to each other. Then TJ Nicholson, almost tossed up by Snyder as Andrew Hunter makes his way down the ring. And I think it's exactly what Chris Steiner would have wanted. A chance to get his hands on Andrew Hunter, the man who would toss out his first. I don't think he even realized that Andrew Hunter's in the ring yet. Too busy, focus on Hugo, TJ Nicholson, Andrew Hunter. These two men are scheduled to face for each other for the United States Tag Team titles at six cents. And Andrew Hunter tosses out TJ Nicholson, but TJ Nicholson has a great show in here. And oh my God, I think Andrew Hunter just seen Chris. I think Chris Hunter just realized that Andrew Hunter was in this match. And yes, Andrew Hunter just takes down. Chris Snyder. I mean, Chris Snyder takes on Andrew Hunter. And Smokey coming out. Smokey at number 34. We just seen Smokey beat LaMarcus Carter earlier. Will Smokey be the winner of this one more good and get a shot at, uh, get the gift at six cents. As we are to 34, 80% men down in this match. Down to the final six men coming out. And Hugo, big kick to Andrew Hunter. Hugo with a dollar bill elimination in the Royal Rumble. With a, with, and a countdown, Battle Royal, whatever you want to call this thing. Hugo has just tossed out Andrew Hunter, Smokey's tag team partner for six cents. It was interesting, you did not see Smokey and Andrew Hunter really face off. Hugo now tries to toss out Smokey, but it doesn't happen. Hugo tries to go for two big eliminations at once. I have to call for this match number 35, the Brutality Champion. And Snyder is showing up that powder, that power. He will try to eliminate Smokey. Isaacoff try to eliminate Snyder. Isaacoff unsuccessful. Here you go. Successful! He's going to toss down Smokey! He's going to toss down for Smokey! Here you go! With the history of being dominant in the Rumbles, has done it again! Here you go! Um, just tossed out the tag team of Hardo and Smokey! I can't believe that! Hugo now looking to toss out Isakoff. Isakoff. Isakoff, the brutality champion. Don't forget, Hugo, a former two time brutality champion. And the alien coming out at number 30. And we've heard rumors of it, folks. It's true. The alien has sold out. Corporate alien is here. He is now working with the management. Corporate alien is here. He has sold out. Hugo tosses out the Brutality Champion. 
Isaacoff. And the corporate alien knocks down Chris Snyder. The corporate alien here at number 36. The corporate alien, we've seen the alien once or twice here in North American Elite. And alien in a compromising position. Here we go looking to toss out the corporate alien. Here comes number 37, Mr. Trouble Crown, Stephen Rain. Stephen Rain, we've seen his tag team partner, Andrew Leanna, had to start off this match. Well, Stephen Rain now be a little bit better entry number than Andrew Leanna. As Corporate Alien. Corporate Alien just takes out Hugo! Corporate Alien has just took it out Hugo in this match! And thanks to Corporate Alien, we will not see another Hugo Battle Royal win! Corporate Alien now looking to eliminate Stephen Rain, the Mr. Triple Crown. Chris Steiner looking to help him. As we only got three men left in this match. Stephen Raiden is in trouble. Stephen Raiden's in trouble. The alien, Chris Snyder, tosses out Stephen Raiden. No, Stephen Raiden hangs on. Norm Daly, Crusade member, one half of the United States Tag Team Champions coming out at number 38. Norm Daly. For, uh, Norm Daly has just won the Apex Wrestling Syndicate Heavyweight Championship at, Ar at their Armageddon pay-per-view just a few days ago. Corporate alien tossed out by Chris Snyder. And Norm Daly tossed out by Steve Rain and Norm Daly not lasting wrong. Here in this rumble, Steve Rain just delivered a huge kick if you missed it and taked out and just took out Daly. United States Tag Team Champion not having a long appearance here. Chris Snyder, Steven Raiden, Chris Snyder taking out Steven Raiden. Chris Snyder has a good chance of winning this. So does Steven Raiden. Steven Raiden calls himself Mr. Triple Crown. Has won more tag team gold than anybody along with Andrew Leanna. And that sports guy coming out at number 39. That sports guy has drawn a great number. That sports guy can win the biggest match of his life right now if he can somehow last in this match. That sports guy, a free agent here. Well, a, a, a North, a, you can say an AEW represented. He is not here under the North American Elite Wrestling banner. He has come on his own, that sports guy. Looking to toss out Steven Raiden now with Chris Snyder. Steven Raiden in trouble. Chris Snyder, that sports guy, working him over. We only got one man left in this match. Steven Raiden eliminated. No, Steven Raiden, hold on again. I can't believe Steven Raiden now has held on twice. And once again, Steven Raiden being tossed over the top rope, holding on again. And number 40 is Matt Icorn. And we will see the suspect compete in a world title match just here in a few, whenever this match ends. That sports guy looking to toss out Chris Snyder. That sports guy tosses out Chris Snyder. I can't believe it. Snyder is shocked. Snyder is shocked. That sports guy, he can't believe it of all people, that sports guy. Matt Icorn comfortably comes in at number 40. It's going to be one of these three men that are going to win this match. These three men. No, not these three men. Steven Raiden and Matt Icorn have looked at each other and they agreed. Sports guy? Yeah, sports guy. Matt Icorn, Steven Raiden. I don't think they want to see a guy like that sports guy win, win this match or somehow win this match. These two men are now working over that sports guy. Sports guy fighting on for, Hold on for his life. That sports guy. No! Sports guy eliminated. And we are down to our final two men in this match. Steven Raiden has thrown Matt Icorn over the top rope. Steven Raiden, what's he going to do to Matt Icorn? Matt Icorn tries to roll back in, but Steven Raiden is dropping on the way back out. Steven Raiden has won this match. Matt Icorn did not get back in the ring. The referee stay. Steven Raiden has won this match. Steven Raiden has won this match. Steven Raiden has won the 40-man Battle Royal. He will get a gift at six cents. What will that be? I do not know. Steven Raiden has won this 40-man battle royal, this countdown rumble, this New Year's countdown rumble. Steven Raiden has picked up momentum. He knows where he will go in the sixth sense with a gift. Steven Raiden has won this match. Oh my God, and we are on here to the main event. The NAEW Championship I Quit match. These two men weren't even scheduled to have an I Quit match. These two men weren't even scheduled to have a title match tonight. And now because of what Mason Chronic had said about he rather 
he rather just quit this company than have to face a guy like a suspect every night. And suspect said the same thing about him. Well, these two men now, with what they had said about each other, has these two men now having to take on each other in this I Quit match. The challenge was laid out by the suspect. I have to throw out the fact that that the, that the, the leader loser leaves this company. I'm not happy about it. The uh, man, only one of these two guys are going to be here in, in AEW after this match. And Mason Chronic has been a dominant World Heavyweight Champion. I'm really good friends with the suspect. I'm also a member of the Damage Gauge, along with the Bloodline. And man, it's going to be sad to see if the suspect goes. It's going to be hard for the suspect to beat Mason Chronic in an eye quit match, I think. But at the same time, the suspect said he's fighting for everyone in the locker room who wants Mason Chronic out of here. And the suspect making his way down the ring. The suspect, the four-time the four-time World Heavyweight Champion, has won titles in NASC, CCL, or not, not CCL, has won titles in NASC, DCWL. Suspect is a, a top contender here. And in AEW, was going to take on Joel Omega and Mason Chronic and Hell in a Cell, six cents. One of these two men, I don't think we're going to make it to six cents because one of these two men will no longer have a job. Steven Raiden will get a what? Steven Raiden will get a shot with Andrew Leanna against the Bloodline. Steven Raiden was offered a tag team title match, a Canadian tag team title match when he got to the back, or an All-American title match, and he took the one with Andrew Leanna. He took the one with Leanna. The, tag, the Canadian tag title match is going to happen at six cents now. The Bloodline, Andrew Leanna and Steven Raiden. Steven Raiden, Steven Raiden. I can't believe, I can't believe it. And, the, and here we go, introductions. For this NAEW championship match, I quit. So you got to make your opponent say, I quit. And when they quit, they quit the company. And the winner of this match is going to be the North American Elite Champion. The NAEW Champion is on the line tonight. The suspect getting a shot against Mason Chronic. I quit match. Loser quits the company. And... Suspect taking the fight to Mason Chronic right away. Mason Chronic trying to catch a leg, but Suspect takes the, takes the fight to Chronic. I can't believe it. I thought we had to wait the six cents to hear what why Steven Rayner would be awarded. But he's going to be awarded a tag team title match against the Bloodline and Canadian tag title match, along with Andrew Leanna at six cents. That's exciting. For those four men, they, 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 they have a different match schedule, I believe. Suspect taking the fight to Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic, the dominant champion that he has been, though, knocks down the suspect. Mason Chronic now just taking a few shots at the suspect. And when Mason Chronic punches, they hurt. Mason Chronic has turned suspect just trapped in that turnbuckle and splashed him. Suspect though with a big back elbow. Suspect the flying clothesline. Suspect the momentum behind the suspect right now. Mason Chronic angrily gets up. Suspect sling blade on Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic agitated. Suspect with a big clothesline on Mason Chronic. These two men have history in a, in a league called CCL. Suspect knocking down Mason Chronic with a scoop slam. Suspect, he comes to my thing. He says Mason Chronic's quitting tonight. Suspect, a house of fire rips apart my announce table. Suspect says Chronic is going to quit tonight. The, rep, the, the crowd is changed. Suspect, suspect, suspect. Chronic takes him down. The, the, the late drop on the ring apron, the hardest part of the ring. Suspect though. Suspect looking for the suspect bottom. Nails that suspect bottom. Wait a second. He tell the referee. Charles Adams asked him. Is Mason Crowder going to quit? Suspect taunting him. Suspect taunting him. Mason Crowder. He. Mason Crowder has quit at AEW. Mason Crowder has quit. The suspect, the suspect, the suspect is champion. The suspect is the NAEW champion. The suspect has won the gold. The suspect is our world champion. Suspect bottom in the replay. Suspect has chronic. Chronic has quit. Suspect the 
one of the gold suspect the NAEW champion at the end of 2019. Are you kidding me? The suspect is on top. The suspect means Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic no longer has a job here. Mason Chronic has lost. Mason Chronic is no longer employed by North American Elite Wrestling. The suspect, the suspect is champion. The suspect is champion. The crowd is going crazy. The crowd, the suspect is leaving. The crusade is here. What? The crusade is here. TK Nicholson and North Daily, the United States Tag Team Champions. They're beating on Mason Chronic. What is this? They're beating on Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic, who is no longer employed here by North American League Wrestling. He has just quit. I can't believe it. Mason Chronic trying to fight off the crusade. The crusade of Mason Chronic have been having problems since day one here in North American Elite. Don't forget, it all started with an attack on Mason Chronic at second in command. I don't think the Crusade can believe that Mason Chronic is no longer employed. And they decided they're gonna, if anyone's gonna give Mason Chronic his, the last beating here, try to say Chronic, try to make Chronic quit. Try to make Chronic quit. He just, he's just trying to, he's trying to break Chronic's arm, Norm Daly is. TJ Nicholson and Norm Daly, the United States Tag Team Champions. Norm Daly. Oh my God. Jason Chronic landing straight on his neck. That double underhook pile driver by Norm Daly. And now just look at this, the beat down of the limbs, all the limbs of Mason Chronic, the crusade. And I don't think Mason Chronic made any friends here in North American Elite his entire time here. And now that he no longer has a job, nobody here to save Mason Chronic from the crusade. And so what's going on? At the end of 2019, the crusade is attacking Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic no longer employed by North American Elite Wrestling. And Norm Daly, <laughs> loving what he's seen. I am shocked, as I apologize, I cough there. Mason Chronic up to his feet again. Bloody mess is Mason Chronic, I believe. TJ Nicholson, no crying is not bleeding. I'm sorry, I thought I had seen some blood. TJ Nicholson taking the Mason Chronic. Mason Chronic is daily. And TJ Nicholson and Norm Daly taking the Mason Chronic. And this is just a beatdown by the Crusade. A goodbye beatdown for Mason Chronic here in North American Elite. North American Elite Wrestling and find this ticket for you, Mason Chronic. This ticket was signed by the Crusade. And look at TJ Nicholson, look at Norm Daly. The question is, I haven't seen Joe Omega at all tonight. Is he here? Does he know what just happened? What does that mean for the, for the Hell in a Cell now? Will it be just Suspect versus Joe Omega at six cents? I, the, the questions I don't know is, Mason Chronic, Again, it's just still getting beat down by the Crusade. What, what a night, folks. New Canadian Tag Team Champion is the Bloodline. We've seen Steven Raiden win the Battle Royal. We're going to take on the Bloodline now. A six cents for winning that Battle Royal as announced. We've seen a new world champion, the Suspect. We've seen Smokey, thanks to the help of Ossie Andy now Cabrera, defeat the Marcus Carter. What a night. We haven't seen Joe Omega though, that's the one thing I'm surprised about. And TJ with a is taking down Mason Chronic neck against the ring, the neck against the the rope. Mason Chronic, there's, uh, there's no one here to help Mason Chronic and I am shocked. I can't be that shocked though. The words he has said about the company, the words that he has, the words that he has expressed. And don't forget, this is the Crusade. They're not, they're not here for North American Elite Wrestling. They, they've had a problem of their own with Mason Chronic since day one. So Mason Chronic is the first targeted, and now it seems to be going to be their last target. It's going to be the last people to get their hands on Mason Chronic here in North American Elite. As once again, all the, all, look at this, they're just working over the, they, they, I, I've never seen this before. If Mason Chronic 
Can somehow get his job back if you're here in North American League? He's not going to be seen for a while because look at his beatdowns that they are giving him. Holding him with Norm Daly. I wonder if Joel Mega maybe have given these two men orders. Oh my god! And Mason Cry was busted open with that move. It's just that. I don't know what to call that. I don't even know what that DJ Nicholson is just playing out. Mason Chronic. So did Norm Daly. Norm Daly, TJ Nicholson, the Crusade. Joe Omega out of nowhere! Wait, it's Joe Omega! Joe Omega was under the ring head for the entire time! Joe Omega came from the ring apron! What is he gonna do here? The Crusade got Mason Oh my god, driving him almost to the mat! Good fight, good night, happy New Year's.